Um, let's hear from a gentleman. We haven't had a man yet. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Uh, good evening, everybody on the panel and everybody in the audience. I'm Shubhadeep. Um, until recently, I was heading an NGO in India, working on women empowerment uh, at the grassroots level. Uh, to share my question, I will uh, share a small story uh, for which I'll introduce my wife here, Pooja, who is here uh, on a German Chancellor Fellowship. And something very interesting happened between us uh, right before our marriage. We got uh, married recently in May 2016. In April, she got selected, and I was expecting her to give me the news in being very excited. But she came crying and howling to me that uh, I've got selected, what am I going to do now? I was very puzzled that, why is she crying? <laughs> but that was because she expected as a typical Indian man, now she would have to let go of this opportunity. But that fortunately did not happen. So, um, <laughs> yes, uh, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, I, I gave up my job. I told her that everything is going to be fine. We'll take it in our stride. Uh, you have a great opportunity, so let's go ahead. So the question that I have in my mind is that we are talking about affirmative action. We are talking about quotas. Uh, we are talking about fixing targets, but I think when we are looking at success stories, it's more about uh, peeping into our individual selves. And looking at the representation of men in this hall itself, I feel that we, we need to attack the mindset of our society as a whole. And, and my question to all of the panelists over here is, what do you think that as a society we can do apart from um, legislations, targets, affirmative action, in terms of changing this mindset that we have, uh, whether we talk about uh, giving grants and benefits for men to support the women or women getting benefits to be supported likewise. I mean, it does not make the difference. We're talking about equality. So I should not hesitate when it comes to supporting my wife, or my wife should not hesitate when it comes to supporting me. Um, so if any thoughts or reflections on that, will be grateful. Thank you. May I? Please. Uh, I think uh, if you have children or when you will have children, you will give a great example and you will start changing the mindset. I think that uh, now more and more couples are put in your situation and uh, it's very important to, to show that it can be done, that it can work. And when you have children, they see that for a fact that it can work. And I, I would say that's, uh, that's certainly one way to change uh, the mentalities. But well done. <laughs> and I'm sure that you will enjoy your time in Berlin and that uh, it will be enriching for you as well. So. Just to add on that, yeah, well done. And it's great to hear your story. I think that's, for me, part of the reason I wanted to host this event is to exactly have these sorts of conversations. So a big part is having the conversations about us all reflecting. And I think it's important to have them as groups of women, as groups of women and men, as groups of men as well. And I would um, look maybe to one of the people we cited in the, in the advert for this was Anne-Marie Slaughter, who was the first woman head of policy and planning in the US State Department. So it's one of the most senior positions. And she mentions, you know, she had to have the support of her partner. Similar to you, she was lucky. He was an academic, so he was, had more flexibility in his work. But he's also written about his experience of being a partner, supporting a woman who was in an incredibly challenging role. So I think it's important not just to hear the women's stories, but also the men's as well. And so thank you for sharing that. It's really great to hear. Um, yes. I'm overwhelmed Discussion by giving each of our panelists an opportunity to offer a bit of advice. I saw, based on the hands that were raised earlier, many of you in this room are either students or in the first five years of your career, you have a long road ahead of you. So a bit of advice, perhaps, from each panelist to our audience, what they should, could, could consider going forward. Perhaps, Mr. Nunn, you would like to start? Well, my advice um, would be to uh, to really go your way. I mean, um, if you want to go your way, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of work for, for, for men, for women, but that's worth it. Go to what you want to aim, and I wish you, because that's uh, 
uh, the form of balance and of happiness. I found um, to, uh, as our Indian colleagues here, to find a balance also uh, in your private life, which I think in the profession which is mine is extraordinarily imp important uh, to, uh, to, to, be, to be good in your job to, and to be happy. Mr. Donovan? Um, my advice would be uh, similar uh, and also to say that I think uh, this is a moment in time when uh, uh, the value added that women bring to uh, the world in general, uh, but the world of work in particular, is, I think, being recognised uh, and uh, opportunities, more and more opportunities, I think, will open up. So I would be optimistic, I think, uh, and I think you should be optimistic uh, also. Uh, but determination is important. And uh, uh, to paraphrase, I, I would say rather than lean in, uh, I would say jump in. Uh, is the way to go. Thank All you. Right. Find your way, find a balance, jump in. I agree with all of that. <laughs> I think the, the balance uh, thing is absolutely key. I might add, like somebody else said, find the right partner. Hmm. <laughs> There's some themes emerging this evening. <laughs> Nina? And I'll add, find the right friends. I think a really strong network, particularly for young women, a network of other women who are wanting to you know, be ambitious in their professional lives. And there are gonna be challenges. There are gonna be times when you don't know how to juggle things. I'm obviously not nearly as experienced as everyone else in the panel, but I've found certainly that it's been really helpful for me that to have a network of young women who I also talk with regularly, who may be based at other universities or in other professional roles. And that's immensely, immensely useful. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank all of our panelists for being with us this evening, for taking the time out of your schedule to be with us. Thank you for your words of advice. Thanks to all of you for being here. There's going to be a reception directly